Therefore, some of these, uh, these bank lines have actually sort of dried up. I truly believe with the, the two names that are now associated with Fortis, this situation will be changing as we sit here actually in this room. And I think that there will be a change in the way that the, 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 the banks will be dealing with Fortis very quickly. So I am uh, relatively confident that actually those issues are now be, uh, will now be behind us. But you're quite right, there is a certain time delay, but I think there will be a response from some of the banks and there will be support coming from them. Hi, Brian. This is me again, Nentara. I have to ask you this question. Um, there have been allegations of perhaps not the best of corporate governance standards at Fortis. We've all seen those media reports, whether it's with alleged siphoning of funds or uh, you know quarterly results not being signed on by big five, not big four. Uh, but moving on from that, you've also seen a change in board that has taken place. Uh, board members whose removal was being sought had set up the advisory committee, one member you know, the stalwarts like Renuka Ramnath and step down from it. Talk to your shareholders, talk to the analyst community. How can you say the best of corporate governance standards have been followed by Fortis, even when it comes to deciding the winner, when you yourself have conceded it was not unanimous and that there was a division? i tell you why, because, you know, I'm chairman of the audit committee and this allegation that came, I think, on Bloomberg, it came on, I think, the 7th of February. Uh, just to give you a flavor, I happened to be in India on that day, uh, so I, I, I do live in Europe. And the 8th, uh, I called a meeting of the management and asked them to give me an assessment and investigation of that. By the 13th, which was the end of the week, they'd done an internal investigation and they came to me and said there was uh, no illegal activities against this Bloomberg uh, allegation. And, um, but that wasn't sufficient for me and the audit committee or the audit committee itself. And I specifically requested that Luther and Luther, uh, some lawyers, get brought in to check this internal review and to make sure that actually it is uh, challenged and thorough. And they're now doing total forensics to give us an answer. And that is going on at the moment. We won't know for a, a, a So you sold the company before the forensic audit? Everybody knows that. And so we, we, the forensic audit is coming in and we're expecting to get a result, hopefully uh, back, uh, in, in May, which will, which will declare you know, whether, what was the, the, the situation within the company. But uh, so far, I am not aware of any illegal activities. I think there may be some procedural things that we need to put right, but there are always procedures that you need to, uh, you need to work upon. We have a very thorough uh, audit committee. You, you should see the internal audit reports that are about that thing which we go through every quarter. But in terms of, uh, of, of this particular issue, you need to remember that it was the audit committee that briefed the lawyers, and now everybody who's investigating Fortis is very keen just to sit back and, and wait for the, for the Luther report, and then we will see what it says. And the second part of my question. What was that? Uh, how is it that people whose uh, removal is being sought are deciding the procedures and have decided a winner when you yourself conceded it's not a unanimous decision? Well, I, as I mentioned to you, you know, of the four that are actually being challenged at the next meeting, one was re-elected last Friday. That gives you a flavour of the of the, the sentiment. But you changed the, the board yesterday as well. With well the, yeah, no, yesterday there were the, that was just uh, that the, there was two people who we were actually just uh, formalising. They, 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 they've been on the board since, um, since uh, a month or so, two months maybe. So that was just a, that was just a, a formalization that came through the, the, the board meeting. Yeah. Dr. Tempest, uh, this is Rajiv. Uh, uh, I have two questions. One yeah. is about whether any part of this transaction entails uh, uh, any funds going into the Singh family's uh, holdings. And uh, second is, uh, I, I may have missed the first part of the meeting. I got stuck in traffic. But okay. what was the uh, what was the ratio in terms of majority at the board okay. uh, like? Uh, well, all the money goes into the uh, the Fortis company, and you've seen that. It's uh, you know it's it's very clear in that. In terms of the what I mentioned earlier on, I've already answered the question. But for your, I'll, I will just clarify it. In terms of the board, we have eight people on the board. There are three uh, members of the board that actually uh, have been with uh, Fortis for a fairly long time and understand the hospital business and understand the, uh, uh, the way that it works. And we have uh, five <coughs> members that actually have joined the board in the last uh, uh, couple of months. And uh, of those, so in terms of the voting, the three who, who know the business the best and the longest actually uh, voted for the, um, the, 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 the hero. Double uh, uh, option, 
And of the five new ones, two voted in favour of that and three voted in favour of, of another party. So after we started the board meeting at 7 o'clock in the morning and we finished at 10 o'clock at night, after that sort of 15 hours and all the in inputs we got from a whole variety of advisors, uh, we took a decision on a majority basis. Because it was in the was? interests of the company, the shareholders, the staff, uh, and the patients that we move on. We've, we've been on this process for too long, and that is why um, uh, we want the management to start focusing on improving the performance of the business. What was the choice of the other three? Sorry? We, what was the choice of the other three members? Uh, there was another party. Which one? I'm not going to get into the individual choice of different people. I don't think that's fair.